Hello friends, welcome to another training session of the woodpecker method. So I'm solving puzzles here using the woodpecker method. The key idea is the woodpecker method is to solve the same puzzle several times so we'll remember much better. So black to move, I think I need to take on the knight, rook takes, knight, pawn takes, rook, g3, check, king g1, pawn takes, rook, that way black wins a piece. Let's go for the next one, black to move again. The bishop is forking the queen and the rook. Okay, rook takes f2. Queen takes f2, queen takes e6 check, the king moves and then pawn takes b4. The black is with the two extra pawns. Okay, white to move again. Wow, well, this is nice. Rook takes g8. If king takes g8, then queen takes g5 check. H takes, takes g5, knight f6 check. It's a fork queen 2, which wins the queen. If rook takes knight, rook takes rook, then queen takes rook, king takes g8, then knight f6 again, forking. This is nice. Ooh, wow. Hmm. Ah, okay, this is okay, this is the different way but goes to the same result. Yeah. Okay. So there are two solutions. White to move. What should he do? What's your solution? What's your suggestion? In the back rank, there are some back rank issues here. And the queen is overloaded. So queen takes d5, queen takes d5, rook e8, check, rook f8, rook takes f8, checkmate. Interesting here, more the black design, but probably could do something like maybe bishop d7, just avoid the, the threat. This is a nice thing. Okay, black to move again. Bishop takes e4, if queen takes e4, then queen takes d1 wins. If bishop takes e4, bishop takes e4, then rook takes e4. So it's back to Piece with an extra pawn. Why to move my first idea is rook takes e6, king takes e6, bishop d5 check, king moves and then bishop takes g8. Strong pass pawns with the game. So 
So, why to move? Bishop to g7 check, king to g7, queen g5 check, king h8, queen f6 checkmate. Yeah, yeah, this is the way. Yeah, I wish you would enjoy also the solving these puzzles. So, black to move. Takes d3, pawn takes d3, queen e5 check, that's a double then the rook and the king. And this wins, okay, that's nice. Okay, let's go for the next one. White to move. Bishop takes eight seven check. If king takes eight seven then g6 four queens, that's that's clear, but the bishop takes eight seven king h eight he can play. Then maybe bishop g6, queen moves. The bishop takes e5 actually, and on h6 looks like a pretty strong idea. White won't you just finish the exercise. Yeah, at least he won a pawn, and that that was an important pawn around the king. Let's go forward. White to move. Maybe this is that simple. Bishop eight seven check. King takes eight seven. Rook takes c eight. Rook takes c eight. Queen takes c eight. Yeah, white will not change. Okay, white to move again. First idea is knight takes f7 check, rook takes f7 and g6. Interesting solution. And the game was played, which I suggested. Knight f7, but after knight, rook takes f7, g6, rook takes f5. Rook takes f5, rook g7. And means the g6 point will be probably a draw. Okay, it's not, so this is not that easy to calculate.
means we're going for this F6 just to build up the nice attacking position yeah, and black rooks are kind of trapped so now maybe white is starting to play something like rook e7 and then knight takes f7 or rook, rook takes c7 Okay, let's go for the next one. So what would be the things to go here? Why to move? to move f7 queen is ah that's nice knight knight d6 check is forced to take and then bishop g6 pinning the queen oh that looks nice Let's go forward, white to move. White to move. Maybe okay, just in the power. Rook takes b6, rook takes b6, knight takes d5. Wins back the exchange plus wins the pawn. Set to pounds if the disciples. Yeah, if we take this is not sixty five, okay. White to move. Let's look at equal number of pounds. Yeah, white is probably better because D four knight and the better bishop. Hmm, what is there anything more concrete? Ah, thank you very much, Russ. Thank you very much. Russ is the cheerleader. Wonderful. Thank you very much. So what to do here? Yeah, the king is looks kind of ah oh, wow. Bishop takes a six, pawn takes a six, and the rook c six check double attacks. Oh, that's nice. White wins a pawn with the check, and this one. Okay, let's go for the next one. Hmm. Yeah, thank you, Rust. Thank you. So, what to do here? It feels like white may have some attack on the Black King. Ooh, this is beautiful. Wow. Knight takes 8 7. 
king takes it, it's a knight f6 double check with the queen. This is beautiful. If king takes it, it's a knight f6. f5, can just come back. Bishop takes and it means back the bishop on b7. Wow, thank you very much, Rust, for gifting a sub for White Wolf. Wow. So now Ross is a chili there both about bits and also about gifting subs. So what I'm doing is oh, well, probably knight b5 now, it's double attack to knight of the bishop. Actually the key idea of the woodpecker method is to solve a set of puzzles, maybe like 100 puzzles, in maybe two weeks, and then you solve the same 100 puzzles like in one week, so half of the time, but try to do it again, and do it again, and again, and do it seven times always half of the time and hopefully this will really put the puzzles and the patterns in the subconscious mind so you will be able to use it even without thinking. It's probably not night B5 I would do. Both knights finds fine, probably fine. Yeah, just preventing the knight d6 check is coming. Okay, let's go for the next one. Black to move. Mm -hmm. Black do what can black do here? It's equal number of pounds. White has those nice pounds in the center, but maybe maybe the back rank actually, the back rank, that's it. Rook takes c4, queen takes c4, queen a1 check, and checkmate is coming. This is nice. Okay, let's go for the next one. White to move. <laughs> Ooh, this is nice actually. Knight takes f7, rook takes f7, 
Queen eight seven check, King F eight, Queen H eight checkmate. Ooh, this is beautiful. Okay, let's go for the next one. White to move. Probably rook takes d5, pawn takes d5, bishop takes d5, check, that's a double attack on the queen. Nice fork. White to move, I would do rook takes h7 check, king takes h7. Queen h3 check, king g7, then queen h6 checkmate. Oh, this is beautiful. Black to move. Bishop takes g2, queen takes g3. G4, pinning the queen. Still rook G4, probably. Okay, it's strange. I, I would consider maybe bishop a3 here or. Ah, uh, if king takes g2, then queen c6 check. Um, the bishop probably. Yeah, moving back the bishop. Okay. Okay, that's nice. So let's go for the next one. Black to move, wow. Queen g2 check, rook takes g2, pawn takes g2 checkmate. Wow, this is nice move. Ah, dear friends, nice to see you then. Let's solve together some puzzles. Black to move. Ah, oh, nice. F3 check. If the king goes to like G3 or it's in a queen takes F1, means the rook. If king goes to G1, then queen takes F1 check. King takes F1, rook D1 checkmate. Yeah, nice to see you all, all here, dear friends. Wow, nice checkmate. Okay, black to move again. Oh, this is nice. Bishop takes h2, check. King takes h2, queen h4, check. The king moves to g1, then the e1 rook is hanging. First idea is rook takes f5, pawn takes f5, queen takes g7, so winning two pieces for the rook. Yeah, probably that's, that's good. Okay. 
What would you do here with white? Well, bishop takes a seven check, actually. King takes a seven, and queen takes a fate. Where's the exchange? It's removing the defender. Black to move. Wow. It's really nice. But there is this forking motif on with the knight, knight f to fork. So queen takes e1 check, knight takes e1 and the knight f2 check. You spike the queen. Yeah, then it's just two pawns up. Yeah, we should be enough to win the game. Ah yeah, CMS book is great. I really recommend for everybody if wants to improve your your strategic understanding about the different aspects of chess. Check the book How to Resist Your Chess. So why to move? Ah, thank you very much for the Ranika Krustica. Thank you very much for the follow. So why to move? What to do? The rook is hanging. Mm -hmm. E for knight is attacked and defended once. The D to rook is hanging. Ah, oh, Christ. Knight takes E4, bishop takes E4, C5. That's a double attack. Opening up the fourth rank. And it's a discord attack. Also, the queen is hanging. Okay, that's good. So, next one, why to move? Hmm. Capturing on it. The knight takes d5, that's a nice fork. So actually, probably knight takes f5 first, threatening the king and the bishop in the same time, and if pawn takes knight, the knight takes d5, forking the king and the queen. Uh, thank you very much for the follow, and thank you again for your donation. And this 
subscription subscription gives good night Okay, with this fork, who is the queen? So, what's the today's Sirtis exercise? Why to move? Now, this is a typical one. Knight takes d5, pawn takes d5, bishop c7, who is the queen? Let's go for some more. So black to move. Maybe capturing an f5, f2 two times, bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes, king takes, rook d2, check, we move back to the piece with an extra pawn. Okay, we like to move again. The background looks pretty, pretty weak. Huh? True. Maybe rook takes f3. If rook takes f3, then queen d1 wins. If pawn takes f3, then queen c2, and then we cannot avoid the queen. Which to checkmate? Wow, that's something special. Yeah, no defense against the mate. Why to move? Ooh, this is so beautiful. Please try to find this one. This is so cool. You really need to. To try to find it. It's so beautiful. So it's a checkmate. Two moves. Yeah, so queen takes e6 check. If pawn takes e6, then bishop g6 checkmate. Well, if queen e7, then queen takes e7 checkmate. This is so beautiful, actually. Wow, thank you very much for subscribing, then. Thank you very much. Go forward. So maybe something very similar happening here. Bishop g6, if knight takes queen, then bishop takes f7, checkmate. Other way, yeah, the f7 is three hanging. Rook f8, then bishop takes f7 still. Rook takes f7, queen g6. Yeah, that looks probably. 
we've captured them. Yeah, it's a nice check music. Let's look how to. Ooh, ooh, this is so beautiful. Wow. Can you find this one black to move? This is beautiful. This is really beautiful. I think Bishop B5 blocking the connection between the queen and the rook captures then queen takes e to checkmate okay white to move my first idea is rook d8 check if rook takes rook then queen takes queen wins if the rook d8 check maybe bishop f8 And queen takes f6 means protecting the rook plus settling maybe bishop takes e5 and then checkmate. Okay, next one. Right to move. Probably similar which we did, like knight takes f7, king takes f7, then queen takes e6 check, king g7, queen f7 checkmate. This is nice. So white to move, white to move. Probably bishop takes f6, just maybe there is something better. That looks a simpler move. But not move that deep. Yeah, that means the pawn we cannot take the rook because then rook takes d7. If rook takes e7, then bishop takes e7. Yeah, I think it should be. Yeah, so this, this means the pawn is a pawn. Okay, black to move. Ooh, this is so beautiful. Yeah. Please try to find it. This is so nice, wow. What do you feel? What can be the solution here? Yeah, so. Rook takes e4, rook takes e4 and then king f5, it's a discover attack, discover check. Check, the rook gives the check and it wins. White to move again. This is a strange situation where the queen in c7 is not really well placed here. Maybe simply bishop takes a7, check, king takes, knight takes a7, and then bishop takes e 7 Yeah, black won back the pawn, but white's king is weakened. Yeah, 
Yeah, why it got a nice and uh, This is beautiful. Knight f6 check, pawn takes f6, bishop takes f6, and and then queen h6 will come. And then queen g7. Actually, cannot do much against that. If black cannot stop only by maybe like a queen sacrifice, like with queen e7, to eliminate that, that bishop, that's the only way to avoid the checkmate. White to move, white to move, white to move. The knight takes six check. If king h8, the knight takes f7 with the queen. If pawn takes h6, then bishop takes f6, attacks the queen, and then queen g7 for a certain checkmate. It's kind of like a double attack. Yeah, white checkmate, so or with the queen. Nice checkmate. Can you find white to move and give white gives a checkmate in two moves? Yeah, yeah. You are right, that's the thing. So knight g6 check, pawn takes, g6 rook h4 checkmate. Okay, beautiful check. Yeah, hello, hello everyone. We just joined the journey for improving the calculation skills and enjoying some nice puzzles. So black to move, black to move. I was thinking white to move, but black to move. Just think the black king is relatively weak. Ah, so the change of queens would help. So queen takes h to check. King takes h to the knight g4, forking king by the queen. This is nice. So white has, yeah, black has an extra piece now. Full extra piece. Black to move, black to move, what can black move? Yeah, the king position looks also kind of dangerous. Yeah, actually bishop takes g2, it's good. Bishop takes g2, king takes g2, rook g6 check, and if the king moves then the f1 rook will be hanging. Capture. Take check and wins the F1 rook. Okay, let's solve maybe a few more. So, making 50 puzzles today. Black to move. Queen takes three. Queen takes a 94 fork. Moves. Okay. Let's do one more. Probably the same. Queen takes f6, king takes f6, knight takes e4, fork. And winning the pawn and game with an extra pawn. Okay, black to move. Knight takes e4, queen takes e4, bishop d5, pinning. D5, 
this and one more black to bishop rook takes d3 rook takes d3 bishop takes c4 yeah, and extra pawn wins and one more the last one for today black to move This is so beautiful. Rook takes g2, rook takes g2, queen h3 check. King g1, queen takes g2 checkmate. Wow, this was nice. Okay, wonderful. So we saw 50 puzzles today. I wish you enjoyed the show and you learned a few things and hope to meet you very soon yeah and thank you very much for the support for everybody thank you very much for follows thank you very much for subscribing and also thank you very much for the donations Okay, bye-bye friends.